Hello everyone, this is Omada, I'm going to show you today the new plugin Nitro Bake version 2. So let's begin and show you how it's working this great plugin. This plugin is a remake for the begin to make better, faster, and bake more stuff in my 4D easy with one click. So let's show you how it's working. Okay, so let's show you how it's working now with this plugin. I open the Nitro Bake here, and now actually I can bake object if I have exam inside of the clone and this stuff. So let's make a clone here, and I make a cube. Uh, also, I can make more stuff, but I'm going to show you now how it's working this. So uh, I make a grid right here, 10 by 10 by 10, like this. Now I make the, 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 the cube just 10 by 10 by 10 to see, and you can see now I have a lot of objects. I select the clone, and let's make, for example, a dynamic tag here. Let's put a sphere here, for example. Uh, let's make also a dynamic tag uh, to have the something like this, okay? And actually, I, I want to bake all the stuff I, I see in the skin. I go here in the bake mode. You can select, the, for example, I can select all the clones, so I bake only the clone I select. Or I can select the cinder, so it's bake the cinder if I have a clone. If I have all the cinder, so I, I can bake everything I have inside the clone. And I can bake all I have in my project. And next is the Nidromo Fraxus. This is enabling when you have the plugin Nidromo Fraxus. This is also a great plugin. Check out. This is very nice plugin. You can make automatic break in real time. So I select all and I click bake. And you can see now it's baking. You can see how fast it's calculated and everything. And you can see it's done. Okay, now you can see I have here all the objects. Uh, if I hit play, you can see now how it looks like. And now I can move very fast. You can see the timeline, how fast I move. And here you can see the bake object, okay? And because I have high mode, you see it's high the original object. So if I remove now, for example, you can see now I have a gray skin here. And you can see I bake everything. And if I go here and I select, for example, all my cinder, you can see it's about uh, 1,000. And you can see how fast I bake the skin. And also you can do more stuff. You can bake more stuff. Uh, let's, for example, go here and make a very simple simulation particle here okay and uh, go to emitter and uh, in particle mode go here and go and click show object so now this i i want to do is i bake a uh, object of sympathetic or, or or emitter also you can make sympathetic x particles if you have the plugin also it's working it's working with uh, all the plugins you can bake basically all the object is have the mess for example when you have here and you make a dw it's return ms so you can bake position rotation scale and point animation you have so in this case i want to bake this here and also i want to use a, a formula just to give literally more interesting you can see and also i can do more stuff i can put everything i want here i can do more if i want like this and i can do more 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 eyes like and you can bake everything you see so now in emitter i i have okay like this uh, let's go also okay, make something little scale for example just to give a little more interesting results here just like this okay and you can see how it looks like right so i click here uh, update every frame because uh, if you have something is updating every frame for example particles and this stuff you need to ch check this so i click bake you can see how fast done and now you can see i have my skin bake but you don't see the formulas because i don't enable the plas to enable the pla you click this here uh, uh, options so this is the position scale rotation and this is the pla to bake so if i enable this and i bake again now you can see i have all the formula and you can see how nice i bake everything and let's make the, this 100 to see the speed you can see 100 object it's create every frame so uh, 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 b uh, you can see here how fast and done okay and now you can see the object here and also you can see it's hide everything as also is make automatic uh, disable the ex uh, the emitter also the plugin is smart if you enable this here options it's actually bake the keyframe is moving for example position rotation scale and point animation when you enable this this is basically is review this is the turbo mode if you enable it, you have turbo mode and it's bake more faster and i want to show you this so if i make now this undo so i do my last bake 
you can see now if I uh, disable this and I back this, you can see now I can see the review or the viewport, but it's a little slower. You can see now it's slower. Okay, done. So the good thing is to enable this. But if you want to see sometimes how it's going, you can uh, disable this, but it's slow down the Nitro Baker. Okay, now the next I want to show you. Uh, I show you this option what he's done. So now I show you so they update every frame what he's done. And now let's show you, okay, the high mode. That's very quick, I want to show you this. So I have here the sphere. If I have high mode, and I make, for example, just simply here, weak body. If I make a bake, you can see actually it's high, the original object. You can also keep, so it don't do anything. You can see this don't hide, but it's disabling the dynamic uh, his make off, so that you can see the original object how it looks like. Okay, and you can remove, so it's remove the original object. Okay, and I keep this like this now. I remove the remove tag is remove tags. If you have, for example, here, let's say I have this place, I have production and stuff. Uh, if I bake, actually, it's remove the tag for the bake object. So if I disable this and I bake now. You can see it skip the tags. Okay. The XPP mode is a little tricked and I want to show you this. Okay, let's remove this so I can move. Now, if I bake with fix a uh, pivot, actually, you see my animation start for here. You can see now my pivot is the original object. But if I uncheck the fix uh, pivot, now my animation start for the zero. I uh, start for the zero of the hole in the skin. So this is that the fix uh, pivot. The single object is also very nice and interesting, and I'm going to show you this very quick. So I make some undoes to give back my here emitter, okay, nice. Let's make here and make a little, little less, okay. And now I select the emitter, and I go to my single object, and click bake. Actually, you don't need to select because I have here all, so it's fine, automatic, everything. So now you can see the magic, you can see I have one object, and I have a big bake everything inside of this object. Very great, you can see here, nice. And now let's show you something else. And now let's break something hard. Let's bake metaphors. So let's make a, a sphere here. Let's make here a particle and put the sphere here. Let's go to particle here inside and make this uh, particle and show the object. Uh, make it smaller. And now you can see I have a sphere, R nice. Next, let's go to Remeter and put Metaball. And now you can see I have this here, object, right? So let's bake this. Let's try to bake this, okay? Next, select the Metaball, uh, add the single object, and bake. You can see how fast. Now you can see I have baked Metaballs. And also, if I go on, I make it undo this, I go on single object. And now you can see I have only one object Metaboss, very great, you can see also how fast I bake. Okay, so let's bake something more interesting. So let's make a sphere, let's go here in the more graph and make more extrude. So this is create a new object. So let's go to extrude here, and you can see here I have extrude. And now let's make a keyframe here, let's go here. Actually, this I'm going to do is uh, I want to keyframe these here values. Let's go here and make something, let's see something like this, make a frame, and now let's go to more extra here, and go here in the more graph and put, for example, let's see, a formula. So I have uh, some interesting result here, let's make this also just smaller, just to see. Okay, something like this, okay, and let's go and make another exclude. Okay, so now you can see. I have something uh, very hard for bake because it's create object uh, every frame and it's changed. And also make something more uh, hard. Let's go here and then extra steps. Let's make it zero. Okay. And let's go here and make four. So now you see it changed to the frame here. You can see the change. And let's bake this now. Okay. So I don't want single object and let's bake it. You can see also is how fast baking. Okay, it's need a little time. It takes time because I have a lot here stuff. You can see also it slow down the U-Pop when I play without bake. Okay, done. 
you can see now everything here you see i have everything with bake with change polygon and everything how great is this so as you can see the needle bake version of can bake everything and this is the proof okay so let's make off this i remove and make just uh, now i'm going to show you how to work the animation mode okay so now let's say i want to bake this animation but this i want to bake the bones to use for example to export for unity and this stuff so i need to bake the bones because i have controllers and in ci cinema 4d i have tags to calculate on the bones joints and this stuff so you can do it now we need to bake very easy you select the joints here you go to bake more you select all changes you select everything inside of this null i enable the animation mode and now i click bake and done it's remove all the tags you can see here i have a lot of tags it's remove everything and now i remove the controllers and i move the simulation and now i can export this to uh, import to the unity you can see now my bonus bank and the nice thing is the the bonus bake by optimization so it's bake only the keys you need it's not bake uh, everything okay so for example i want to show you this you see here the position if i go here and i open the timeline here you can see in the position for example if i go to keyframes in the position you can see i have only 2k frames because i don't need position and stuff okay and because this is enabling now let's say i want to bake the pla of this uh, t-rex and i don't want the bones so i go to here and i select all the mess i want and i select the animation mode here like i have and now i select the point animation here and now i select select all in so i have select the object and i back and done now i take all this here i put here and i remove everything and here i have pla animation very nice i can export and import to unity and do stuff i want and also two other programs you want okay so the next i'm going to show you how you can bake the nitro mode fraction this is great plugin check out you can make automatic fraction inside cinema for you can see here for example this is everything is automatic the only i need to put the three balls the four balls i mean and the syndro here and i click some button and done and i can change stuff uh, uh, for example i can go here here x is make it different you can see it's everything automatic it's great different here resource you can see how great okay but this i want to show you how you can bake this skin so i open the intro bake here and there is option you have the plugin the nitro mode fraction is enabled here you click the nitro mode fraction here and you click bake and done you wait to finish the calculation with stuff okay it's not take too much time you can see also it's almost finished and when it's finished okay you can see here and now I remove everything, I remove basically the internal more fraction plugin. And all I have is object. And I have everything ready to go. You can see here you go. You have the nitro more fraction bake. And you can go like this, you can see everything break. It's baking. You can see here keyframes and everything. Great. So the last I want to show you is how to bake the spline. So let's make here for example some splines. You can see here I make. So let's make a formula, put it inside a group. And like this you have now animation you can see how it's working now let's open the intro bake select all so i have select everything and click the point animation here and back as you can see here i remove the original object and i have a uh, spline to back ready to go very great okay so let's show you now how you can bake a hair let's make a sphere let's go to simulation make here uh, excuse me um a hair object I put here go to the hair and make sure in the editor is generator click and make splines so now select the hair and click back and now you can see i have hair to back if i remove now everything you can see i have only one spline with the hair how great and i can go down by back i mean i can go further you can see very nice okay so also you can take this for example and export the stuff you want so the last i want to show you you can also we need to bake version 2 you can bake obs sequence and this is great and i will show you this so let's make a new skin so let's go to the clone for example and make a, a object here and let's go and make a formula inside to the sphere let's go to clone and make some uh, uh, randia here okay 
Uh, let's go here and make it dynamic. Okay, just have little animation falling all this stuff. Okay, great. So now uh, to bake uh, object segments uh, to keep all, all, all uh, nice, you need first to bake the object like I do now. So now I have the inter bake ready, and now I can go to object segment here, and actually I can give a name here. I can give, for example, uh, let's see, test B. Okay, and you see that we have a, a object export. You can select the option you want, and you click OK. It's calculator and this stuff, and also is. You can go now to the folder. You can see here. Let's open, for example, this. And now you can export. And you can import. I mean, to everything you want to the uh, program you like. Uh, okay, so let's take this here frame and open here. And let's copy this frame here and go to the 16. And you can see here. I have one frame here and I have it down here because it's falling. So you can see how great. Uh, and also you can select the object you like to bake to make object sequence. This is great news. So the plugin review is finished. I hope you like and find it useful. You can see how fast you can bake stuff and easy and make life I I make export stuff to export to other program you like. Very easy with one click. So thank you for watching this video and more plugins coming soon.